One of my favorite things to tell people is read scriptures in its entirety. You know, I think the Lord must believe that he, he is and is a rewarder of them that diligently seek him. Is when we seek rewards more often than not, we seek out for physical rewards. Sometimes the world is a personal relationship. And that's just my belief. Hello, sir. How are you doing? I'm good. Yeah? Good. So in your own words, this is what we're doing today. Could you introduce yourself for the benefit of those watching? My name is um, Olok Badi Friday, Badibo. Um, basically, I'm a child of God, and um, I just love God. I just love God. Okay. Basically, that's all about me. Yeah. Absolutely. So, sir, my question to you, I want to start with this. It's like I said, we have to understand who Yahweh is more often than not. But to you, who is Yahweh to you? How would you define Yahweh? Personally? Yahweh to me is still, I would like to say, is still revealing because the more I think I do know whom Yahweh is, the more I get to find out that um, I have not really gotten or, or, or have this grasp of whom really Yahweh is. Mm. Uh, presently, I've, I've come to know him as the Lord, the Lord, as in the, the owner of my life, the owner of everything, the one I submit to. Total submission. The Lord over your life, the Lord over everything. Yeah. That's strong. And so my question now that goes after that is this. When was your first encounter? And when I'm asking that, I'm not asking based off of you telling me what that moment was like. Yeah. You said, Yahweh keeps revealing himself to yeah. you. So now that he's the Lord, when you first encountered Yahweh, I want you to walk me through that experience and maybe help me understand what was he to you when you first encountered him? Oh, interesting. I've had uh, several encounters, but um, the one that just came to me now, in the university, 200 level precisely, uh, I was, in our days, we didn't have um, phones and um, we used to have this uh, manual timetable that you go to check Mm -hmm. on the wall to know when a particular course will be done, the examination. So I had no idea that the course I was preparing for the exam, they had changed the timetable and I was not aware. So, and you know, during our own school days, we go hide to read, mm. where no one will see no, you, you just you. appear suddenly. <laughs> so um, yeah. on this, this Good Tuesday, I can't forget that day. Um, let me save the date. I was on a tree. Okay. I was on a tree because it looked like everywhere was all the hot spots to were read. taken in okay. campus. So okay. because if you go to one angle, you find one guy hibernating there and he's reading. Mm -hmm. So you don't want to do so I ended up on a tree branch. So that morning, um, a guy spotted me, he was going for an exam, and he told me that ah, the exam is about to start. Now let's go and write. I was like, what? And then he told me that there is this organic chemistry exam that we had to write that morning. I wasn't, no, I was preparing for an organic chemistry exam, but it was a biology course right. that we were to, right. to, to write. I wasn't prepared for it. Hmm. I was thinking we'll do it some days later. So I didn't know what to do. I got to the exam hall, I have no more purpose hall in the University of Jos. I didn't know what to do. Normally I would like to sit ahead in front. But because of how confused I was, I went up. The exam was about to start and I was like, God, please, you need to help me now. I can't fail this course. And if you do biology courses, you must draw. Mm. And with accurate, I mean, accurate labeling yeah, and everything. So, and you can't miss all those things. Ah, I so, dreaded it. What did mm -hmm. God do? Then I didn't know him this well. Mm -hmm. And thank God I even said he keeps revealing himself. Absolutely. So there, I just stood there. I was looking at the questions. I was blank. Didn't know what to do. Mm -hmm. It was only organic benzene structures that was in my head. Only benzene structures. I didn't know how I was going to answer with chemistry. So suddenly, after that short prayer, you can't believe what happened to me. God brought back those days of lecture hmm. in front of me. So I looked at the question and I remembered 
the day they were lecturing it, the person lecturing it was teaching it. So I was having a classroom inside the exam hall. So as he was drawing it, he was talking about it, he was labeling everything. So it was, that was one of the best exams I've ever written in my life. How I wish everybody can encounter that kind of. You know, it was just like a Red Sea part and wow, a classroom. Inside the exam hall, I passed. Like, passed excellently. So that's him revealing himself to Absolutely. me. Absolutely. So I didn't know this much of him like I do now. Mm. But I'm getting to understand that he has been with me. Mm. And he has been my Lord, wow. helping me. So then it was Yahweh teacher, Yahweh reminder. I don't know what, I don't know what I would <laughs> So many things, yeah. but I, I can imagine what that was like. Wow, you wish you were there. I know, I can't, it, I mean, it's, it's very vivid the way you painted <laughs> the picture to me. But I'm trying to understand now, beyond that, before then, what was your relationship with Yahweh like? Could you walk me through that? Like from when you had given your life to Christ, before that, a very powerful encounter. Well, like I said earlier on, I've had several encounters. Yeah. Um, this just reminded me, I gave my life to Christ while I was in secondary school. Okay. That was my, the beginning of my journey, Fellowship of Christian Students in my secondary school. Okay. Um, uh, so many things that I can't, so many accounts that I, I can't really go into, mm -hmm. but I, I just, I just remember so fresh and so, so new to me now, how the joy, the, the experiences, the wanting to pray, the wanting to fellowship together. No, want, no, you don't want to miss, you know, the study, you know, the praise and worship, yeah. everything. It's awesome. It's amazing. So you have it's known amazing. God from secondary school? I had, no, I had encountered him from uh, my secondary school days mm -hmm. and it's been wonderful. Absolutely. It's been wonderful. Sometimes I used to feel like I actually uh, worship God or knew God more while I was in St. Catherine's School than mm. now. Oh, wow. Yeah, maybe because I had less of care. Absolutely. Yeah. Because of this world, we're not. <laughs> no more but no burdens on this world as yeah. much. Okay, so my, my question to you now, based off of that, is you've given me a very, very strong memory of yours about a very vivid encounter with God. Him basically teaching you in an exam hall. And that's a very powerful one. But I'd like to ask about one that I would say beyond that, because that is something that has to do with school that was just um, a momentary benefit, if I may. I'm trying to ask for one that you can't forget, the one that strikes you the most. Like you experiencing Yahweh in a way that Moses did at the burning bush, something that could make you break, cry. You know, that kind of encounter, I'd like to know and maybe take a walk with you. Okay. If you've had that kind of experience, and what was it like? Yeah, I'll just tell you the most recent, yesterday. Yesterday? Yesterday. Okay. Uh, before yesterday, I've been doing some personal prayers. I want to know you. Hmm. I want to experience you. 